In this problem, we want to calculate the four-dimensional volume of the parallel tube spanned by the vectors 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, minus 1, 2, 0, 5, 3, 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, analogously with how we calculate the volume of a parallel pipette in R3 or a parallelogram in R2, we calculate the determinant of a certain kind of matrix. Well, we, we get this matrix by stacking these vectors on top of each other. So it's going to be the absolute value of the matrix. Uh, we'll add that in the end. Let's take the absolute value at the end. So it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, minus 1, 2, 0, 5, 3, 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Apologize for my nasty handwriting. So the way we have to calculate this is our cofactor expansion. Normally we can just kind of go through it mentally, but with a 4x4 four four it's easiest to just really break it up. So this is going to be, we're going to expand along this top row. So we're going to have 1 times the determinant of this 3x3 three three matrix. So we can just write that as the determinant of 2 minus 1, 2, 5, 3, 0, uh, 2, 3, 4 plus the determinant of the 3 by 3 matrix given by throwing away this middle column and the top row, which is going to be 0, 2, 2, 0, 5, 0, and 1, 2, 4. So let's calculate this in some steps. So first one, we have 2 times the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix here, so 3 times 4 minus 0, minus minus 1, so plus 1, times the determinant of the matrix given by throwing away the top row and the middle row, so we get 5 times 4 minus 0, so 20, and 2 times the matrix given uh, by throwing away the top row and the last row on the right. So that's going to be 2 times uh, 5 times 3 minus 3 times 2. So 15 minus 6. So simplify and we get this is 24. 2 times 12 plus 20 plus 18, and that's 62. Okay, cool. So now we need some more room. Uh, let's erase all this. Okay, so that was the first matrix. So now let's calculate the determinant of the second one and add it on. So this is a nice matrix because there are a lot of zeros in it. So what I'm going to do is expand along the left column. And the only non-zero entry there is going to be the one in the bottom. So that's nice because the determinant of that matrix then simplifies to 1 times 0 minus 10. So minus 10. Cool. So now the original four-dimensional analog of volume is going to be 62 minus 10 or 52. And we're done.